Hey all, and welcome to another tutorial with Frozen Foxy on the newer tools I've been using. Lots of time has gone by since the first part, but these tools have stood the test of time with me. This tutorial expects that you've already installed AviSynth, Virtual Dub Mod, and Virtual Dub on your computer. In this video, I'll go over using AviSynth and Virtual Dub Mod alongside old Virtual Dub to put together videos. Long ago and far away I deleted the Thief videos to save space, so be aware that this may contain minor spoilers for Sticks 2. First, we will actually start with opening a command prompt in our directory by deselecting any files, then holding shift while right clicking an empty space. This reveals the option open command window here, so we don't need to change directories in the prompt at all. Next, we'll grab all of the file names in the directory with a dir command using bare formatting with forward slash b and ordering by name with forward slash o colon n. We'll pipe this output to a file with greater than followed by the file name, specifically one ending in dot avs to create an avisynth script. Leave the prompt open in the background. Now, right click to open the newly created script. This may only have virtual dub or virtual dub mod at first, so select open with, choose default program, notepad, and check the box to make sure it's default for easy opening in the future. The file will have a list of all files we piped in when opened. Delete any extra junk you do not need, like the name of the script and folders from before and after the file names. Press Ctrl plus H at the same time to open the Find and Replace window. Type in the beginning of the file name, then in the Replace box type in AVI source, open paren, double quote, the beginning of the file name. Press Ctrl plus A at the same time to replace all. Next, type dot AVI in the top box and in the bottom box dot AVI double quote, end paren, plus backslash. Again, control and A. At the very bottom, clear the plus backslash from the file name, then add convert to yv12 open paren end paren at the bottom so MeGUI can handle the color format from raw fraps videos properly. Add a blank space at the end of the file for easy editing later. Save the file and go back to the command prompt we left open. When you've calculated how many videos you're going to make from your raw capture, we can use this to create whatever number of part scripts we need at the prompt. This can be done with a for loop. This will be for forward slash L percent F in open paren the first number of the new file that you want, comma one to increment once, comma the last number of the final file you want in paren do copy the file name and finally the file name with the number replaced by percent %f so the current incremented number is inserted into the new file name. Press enter and bam we have all of our scripted files ready to edit. Now we can use that handy dandy calc spreadsheet when we select a number of files to enter times and number of videos to keep track of our place for editing. Open the first script file and remove all videos except the ones you want based on your selection. Save the new script. Right click the script and open with virtual dub mod. AviSynth translates the script so virtual dub mod can read it as a series of videos that have been concatenated together in the order that they appear in the script. Find where you want to cut the video and press the home key to select the first point. Pull the slider all the way to the end of the video and press the end key to finish your selection. Press delete to remove the selection. Now press Ctrl plus E at the same time to open the AviSynth script editor. This can only be done in Virtual Dub Mod as Virtual Dub doesn't have this enhanced feature. Press page down to get to that blank space we made previously for easy edits. Then press Ctrl and I at the same time to insert a trim statement that only contains the portion of the video we cut out. Press Ctrl plus S to save the edited script and exit out of Virtual Dub Mod. Now select the next set of videos using Calc to determine if you have enough time. Open the next script file and use the previous script file to quickly find where you need to remove the video files by copying a selection of the last video's name and using the Ctrl plus F find command to jump to that video name in your new script. 
count out the number of videos as usual, clear the rest, and open the new script in Virtual Dub Mod after saving it. Use the calc sheet to guide you to about the right time, then open your previous trim script in Virtual Dub to compare the ending and your new video. Once you find the right part, press the end key to select from the beginning of the video to your current location, then press delete to clear it out. Modify your calc sheet if needed to reflect the time a little closer for better tracking. Edit as usual at the end and save the script. Rinse and repeat until all videos are scripted for compressing with an encoder. We'll learn about doing this in the next video with me GUI. Also, in the next video as an added bonus, I'll show you how to use Audacity to remove noise from multiple files at the same time without having to open them individually. Hope you've learned a lot from this one. See y'all later.